Hello everyone and welcome back to the little corner of YouTube which goes under the name of Reggie's Corner. So we are back again now with uh, the second part of the Mission 3 videos, uh, South China Sea. And we are doing this on the hard difficulty. We are trying to get all the collectibles which would be dog tags and weapons. And we are also going for the gold medal, which means 10,000 crisp points. And where we left off in the first video, we were just jumping onto the flight deck of the carrier ship, which had just broken into two parts. And I think we should just jump right back in and continue where we left off. If this sounds like something you would like to watch, just stick around because now we get to it. And uh, when you get to this area, there's possibility to get some more ammo. Actually, I think we will switch this one out for basically whatever. Uh, we could do the scar. Yeah. And when you've done that, move towards the side here. There's a small corridor ish thing, and there will be one guy. And why did I jump down here? Well, because we have, yeah, this is like a basic straight corridor. We have a weapon drop down here. And there will always be a guy uh, peeking around this corner. Oh, I never noticed those small boats. However, here we have it, the U100 MK5, which is a snipey snipe so yeah and when you come up here there will probably be enemies might be enemies on both sides uh, because you're kind of in the middle of it oh like that guy um, so usually I move oh Usually I try to um, kill the ones behind me first so that we can move safely with our back towards where we came from. Yeah, you can see our allies there. And pick those guys off. And if you need cover, just like duck back into the small corridor. Yeah. Oh, that's actually one of our guys. How come he's that far up already? Especially seeing as I think there's still enemies in this area. Oh well. Maybe they didn't notice that. Mm. Yep, yeah, so it's good to make sure that there are no guys behind you. And then when you've done that, you can start moving up and there will be guys basically triggered as you move up. Always hope that our allies aren't standing in the way.
There's quite a water spray and stuff like that. There are some explosives that you can use to your advantage. Uh, or just for fun, you know. They will be barricading themselves at the end of the runway, basically. Shy. Yeah, I'm not sure why I tried to like make a little bit of progress there. That probably hurt him more than us. True that. just swim for the surface and this is the second boat segment I was mentioning earlier in the video so now you basically can just light guys up with white the gun and if you want to have the gold medal it's actually probably a good idea to do that uh, and there will be quite a few enemy ships and your mission here is basically to get back to where you started out on like the main ship you had. And you have this chopper trying to get you as well. But, you know, not that hard and just well, let it have it. there will be quite a few guys in this first area so same principle as before hang back and go for headshots if possible and uh, one of the things worth noticing in this particular area is that there will be a few hand grenade prone guys uh, they will probably use that more often than in any other area previously visited. But there should also be enough room to maneuver around them if they actually throw them at you. some guy no that's actually our guys and once again you can um, get some more ammo they're usually fairly friendly with ammo depots
Not sure who's friendly and who's enemy. Just cover down because they will strafe at you. And here you have uh, the choice of anti aircraft things. I usually go for the Stinger and the uh, HVM2, I think it's called. And once again, an ammo depot if you run out, I imagine. Roger that. Wrecker, get a stinger and take out that helo. Slacker, step ahead, grab the stinger. And that's the way it goes. See if we can grab one so we have four when we move on. Yep, there we go. I will use my slightly smaller gun moving ahead uh, and this is another big area but the same principles apply like hand grenades just try to move out of its way and pick them off slowly but you know steadily I'm sorry, that had to happen. And when you have cleared the first uh, group of guys, just move up, that will trigger a lot more guys. Yeah. And when they arrive, just do the same thing all over again. And just as the other ones, they will throw a lot of grenades if you let them. So, you know, try to let them as little as possible. That was, however, quite a bad shot. That one was slightly better, but still not good enough. here yeah so when you cleared is there still one guy here oh there's actually one more wave it seems and you know feel free to use squad commands and stuff like that Last one. Oh, one more. Okay, I'm not really sure why I missed that guy, but we'll take another stab at it. Right, 
before moving forward, go into this like open helicopter, I think it is. Because inside we have, if I can just crouch down and get inside, our next weapon, which is the Spas 12, and it's a shotgun, I believe. Yeah. So that's there. And once again, more ammo if needed. Open it up, Rucker. Head is in trouble. Brace the door. <sighs> Fuck, Pat, come on. And this is a scripted event, and you can see her kicking ass. is probably a bit more than what it seemed when we first found her. Holy cow, she can fight. Where the hell is he? Garrison had him relocated. What? You left the side? He doesn't know who I am. What was I supposed to do? Fight him? I have kept the line of defense. Call command deck. Ask Garrison where he's located. He'll listen to Jesus you. Jesus Christ, Hannah, the command deck is cut off. Let's get the hell out of here. Tube soul, let's go. six. It's always down to Tombstone, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. And this is the last major area of this mission. And it's also, incidentally, where you find your last collectible. And it's way out here to the right, in the downed, or not down, just burning shopper, I would say. And it's the last dog tag. And when you pick that up, as per usual, just move up, get those headshots going. And look out for grenades. And there's plenty of that. And once again, we have ammo if needed, so it shouldn't really be an issue at all in this mission, I should say. Sure thing, buddy. Mm, have a bad feeling about this was validated fairly <laughs> fairly immediately
And when you pick the shoppers off, or as many of them as you can, make sure that there's no guys behind you because they will wreck your day. looks to be like that so uh, if you don't manage to take out the shops this can actually be quite a prolonged fight with a lot of enemies but if you are aiming correctly and trying to take the shoppers out as soon as they show up uh, you can avoid most of the fight as I just did And there will be some guys in this room. Is there... Yeah, I was thinking someone's holding me up here. And as I mentioned before... Almost the most annoying thing about this mission is all the lights. Like, I can tell he's there, but it's really hard to say where exactly the head is. But there it was. Stone the Valkyrie still floats. Thank you. It's a wounded warship, though. A long way from home, boys. Hostile waters. I don't think we've seen the worst yet. So I'm glad to have you Marines on board. Sergeant Wrecker, I want a debriefing in 15 minutes. Tombstone's yours. Hoorah! And that was the end of uh, mission three, South China Sea. And we managed to get all of the collectibles as in weapons and dog tags. And we also snagged uh, the gold medal for picking up 10,000 points while out killing small boats. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this video as much as I've had and that I will see you fine folks again in the next video. Until then, have the greatest of time and game your little souls away as per usual. Bye for now.